The Giza Plateau of Northern Africa contains some of the most important archaeological records on Earth and is a treasure trove of massive ancient structures and tunnels, which includes a Great Sphinx and pyramids. We are told by experts that the pyramids were built as burial chambers for the pharaohs, yet not one has ever been found within them. Quick research reveals that the pharaohs of Egypt were actually buried at the nearby Valley of the Kings. So why is an incorrect version being taught in school about the purpose of these incredible structures, leaving out important information, including the fact that long vertical shafts, known as the King and Queen's Chambers, point precisely to the star constellations of Orion and Sirius within the Great Pyramid of Giza? But even beyond those wonders and secrets of the great architects of the past, the real treasures of Giza may lie far beneath the surface. Countless tunnels and shafts have been discovered in the last several years around the Great Pyramid of Giza and even inside the Sphinx itself, leading hundreds of feet underground, and yet little of this information has ever been shared or even explored fully after their discoveries. Photographs clearly show passageways continuing into the darkness, but are either sealed off or it's not revealed where they lead. But what could be so important that it would be worth covering up and suppressing from society? Ancient Egyptian records and documents indicated that thousands of years ago, a great library of information was erected beneath Giza, known as the Hall of Records, whose entrance was to be guarded by a great lion, representing the constellation Leo. This may seem strange to many today, until they learned that the Great Sphinx used to be in the shape of a lion, but was later defaced and recarved to resemble a pharaoh by invading armies. Water erosion marks along the edge of the Sphinx prove it is far older than the date of around 4,500 years ago we are given when comparing the climate data around that time period, which would explain how it could have been built during a completely different period of human history, one nearly lost to time. As crazy as that may seem to some, we must understand the importance of where these tunnels may lead and why it's worth all the effort to hide and suppress. The famous Hall of Records is reported to contain a nearly complete and unaltered record of both human history and the secrets of these ancient civilizations of the past and how they were able to create such enormous and precise structures. Recently, a startling announcement was made indicating that ground-penetrating radar had discovered additional cavities and tunnels just in front of the paws of the Great Sphinx, yet no news was ever made of what was found and instead wooden planks were put down to seal the floor of the site off. The most important piece of the puzzle to understand is that certain individuals have been placed in key positions such as the head Egyptologist Zahi Hawass to maintain a certain version of history and never allow the truth to come out. With so many things constantly distracting us, most are simply unaware of this information and accept a given narrative without question. Shafts leading to deep tunnels have been discovered in both the top of the head of the Sphinx and on the rear, but have only been explored by Zahi Huas's team, who claim the tunnels go nowhere and are of no interest, yet they fail to show any images or video proof of that and where they actually lead. Nearby, a discovery was recently made linking additional hidden tunnels found in the Tomb of the Birds which could connect to a much larger network of tunnels and shafts under both the Sphinx and Great Pyramids that all connect. As these new discoveries were being made, Zahi Hawass refused to accept that these tunnels even existed until video and photographic evidence surfaced from a team of researchers that made him refute his statement. Before the team who discovered these new passageways could fully explore them, they were suddenly sealed off without warning by metal bars and no one was allowed to access the area. Over and over, the objective researcher finds out that the real facts of history have been manipulated and suppressed until much of the truth has been nearly lost to society and is considered nothing more than a myth. The greatest secrets of the pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx are likely not going to be found on the surface, but deep underground, where long ago master builders created extensive tunnels and rooms, some containing the most valuable resource we have, knowledge. In the years to come, once this control of history and information collapses under its heavy weight of lies, 
the truth will finally be revealed about the great secrets of Giza and all that lies beneath it. Our view of both history and reality will change forever once the Hall of Records is finally discovered. Hopefully this time, we will not make the same mistakes as before and allow this great library of knowledge to be destroyed and lost to time as we did with the Library of Alexandria.